Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Nicklix. So in today's video, I am going to tell you what are the different positions that have been available in your HTML and CSS. Uh, there are basically four types of positions that are available. The first one is position static. Uh, and the second one is position absolute, the third is position relative, and the fourth is position fixed. So these all positions have their specific importance in HTML in CSS. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate all these positions in this video tutorial. So stay in tune with me. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go and click on a subscribe button and do like my videos if you like, uh, if you understand these videos. So moving to my video part, first of all, I am going to uh, like demonstrate about position absolute and relative and I'm going to save this as desktop positions.html and uh, what I'm going to do here is div class position, uh, let it be position r and in this position, I'm going to create two new divisions uh, one will be class as position a1 and the second one i will be position as position a2 so in the style tag what i am going to do here is i am going to define the position relative tag as width 200 pixel height let it be 400 pixel for instance so uh, width 400 pixel height 400 pixel the background color as red and uh, to this position uh, a1 I am going to define as width 100 pixel and height 100 pixel background color as uh, the one I can define as background color as green and the second one I will be defining as background color as pink right so if I'm going to uh, like uh, run this uh, this will is a current output of mine so here I'm going to like uh, create some margin so that it can move to the center part. So here it goes. I have created two, uh, three divisions, uh, the two, two child divisions of position of this main division. To the main division I have given as width 400, height 400, background color red and margin 100 pixel that is being covered from all the four directions. And the two position as position A1 and position A2, the, it's width 100 pixel, height 100 pixel, background color green and pink, green and pink. Now, uh, like, uh, let's start with the position topic. So in this, uh, I'm going to give here as position absolute, absolute to this position A1 and the absolute to this position A2. So let's see the output when it comes. When I'm going to refresh this, uh, it is being converted to the layer format. So whenever you are going to change the position, uh, you have given the style property of position absolute to your divisions, that division will be comes in the form of layers. Means the green division is in the back of pink division. Pink division is shown because it's the last division like it's uh, the position a1 will be the first layer and the position a2 will be the second layer so the they the, the both divisions are overlap uh, on each other so uh, the last division which i have been placed only that division will be visible to me right so position absolute and whenever we are going to like uh, uh, assign the position absolute value then uh, the top and the top bottom left and right these properties comes into effect so if i am going to do like the top equals to 10 pixel then if i am going to refresh this see uh, the parent in which position a1 division is been placed it has leave its parent so if i am going to write here as top 10 pixel and write 10 pixel so if i am going to refresh this see uh, the position A1 that is of green color is being placed in division class position R. It has leave its parent division and is attached to its to the document part and it has taken the position of 10 pixel according to the document part. So top 10 pixel in the right 10 pixel it has been placed over here. So whenever uh, we are going to give position absolute property to a division and whenever I am going to use top and right left property it will always leave its parent division or parent tag. 
so if i want that position that this children division uh, which are been uh, like uh, which are been assigned the property of position absolute they should like place between its parent division only means its position r division only then i have to make its parent as position relative so if i am going to refresh this now its position uh, r that is its parent division that is relative and now the position absolute divisions the position a1 division that has position absolute properties in place with it and the top is 10 pixel so now it is going to pick its parent division top and right position so uh, to this part also if i am going to uh, do as uh, bottom zero bottom zero and left 30 pixel 20 pixel so it is placed here so right because uh, the division which is uh, the parent of these two divisions uh, that are been absolute the parent division is been placed with the property of relative if i am going to remove this property it will just leave its parent division so this is the whole concept of uh, this your position absolute and relative uh, the absolute and relative first of all the absolute division absolute uh, property of the css will Uh, will whichever uh, like uh, uh, whichever div you will be assigning this position absolute property uh, that all divisions will be overlap uh, with each other like means it will be creating a layer it, it will be created in a layer format so uh, if you want that uh, and if you are going to do as uh, you want to position its uh, Uh, the division with the top or right if you want that it should be placed in its parent container only then that parent should be that parent should be marked as position relative so until unless its relative position is not been placed in its parent tag absolute the children divisions will be uh, like they will be considering their parent as their body part and will place its position according to top and left of body so if you want that particular uh, division should be act as parent so you have to place the position relative tag in your parent in in your parent division so this is uh, the difference between position absolute and relative and if you want for example i am going to delete this top right from here and bottom left from here let's come in it in, into the layer part so uh, like uh, in some cases what i'm going to do here is if i want that position a1 the first division should be come at the at the top most level so there is a tag as z index by default the both position will be having z z index as 0 so if i place as z index 1 and if i am going to refresh this so z index 1 is this one and if i am going to increase its z index to 2 because right now we have green color green color division at the back of pink color division so if if i am going to refresh this the green will be coming at the top of this at the at the top of your pink division so in this way you can just if i am going to like uh, uh, mark its z index as 3 so the pink division will be coming at the top of the green division so whose ever division the z index will be higher that in, that division will be placed at the top of your uh, screen that division will be like visible so this is uh, the difference between your position absolute and relative so moving to the next part uh, there is a uh, like uh, we have a uh, third parts is of position fix let me create some Uh, text over here so that uh, i can explain you the concept of this uh. so let's start uh, so i have given its divisions to position fix so how this position fix works so position f uh let it be position f is this one and now i am going to just refresh this and here my welcome comes here so i am going to just uh, 
format it as background color red uh, let it be color as white so text align i will be going to be as center and uh, we can have a border so to look uh, that it looks some graceful and this is the division and we can go here as position equals to fixed top let be 25 percent and right should be zero so here it goes we can just give it padding as five pixels so that there is a space between your border and the text and font family as Arial and font size as 13 pixels. so here it goes and i'm going to put here some pre tag so that uh, i can just increase the page size so i'm going to increase the page size and uh, this will be the page size increased so here it will it has been increased see the division which i have placed position fixed i have given its position as fixed and uh, its top is 25 percent 25 percent from top and the right is a zero pixel so this is a position fixed division whenever i am going to scroll this uh, we have this position menus fixed on the top of your screen so in this way you can just use your position fix if you want something to be fixed in your uh, like uh, on the screen at top or at the left section or the right section or at the bottom section uh, so you can just use the position fixed regardless of your page size it will be fixing on that place at which place you are going to fix that so this is the difference between your position absolute relative and your fixed I hope you like this video. If you like this video, do just subscribe to my channel, Lick Licks, and do like my videos and uh, like uh, do subscribe my channel for getting all the latest update of my programming tutorials. Thanks for watching my video.